Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to another DreamWorks review. Yes, we are now, I'm now back to do another DreamWorks review. I didn't really get 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 to do that last week. I don't think I'm if I remember correctly, um I could be remembering wrong, but I think I don't know if I uploaded one last week or not. But I am uploading one today. And and the movie I'll be talking about is The Croods. Yes, The Croods. Now, this movie, though, I'm really, you know, I'm really, you know, wanting to talk about it and all that. But before I do, you know, before I talk about anything, I, I have to say, like, I well, to follow me, of course, on, you know, Twitter and Instagram... There, I will be posting stuff occasionally and all that. I think I've been getting some bots on Twitter and all that, so I'm going to have to figure out how to get rid of them. They keep sending me sending me sex stuff. I don't even know who these people are, but they're like bots because um, I, I, I've seen them before and all that. I'm like uh, on streams and all people have had on YouTube, but... But I just hate how people how people keep sending me that stuff, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to get rid of that. But um, but yeah, that's not for that kind of stuff. I I will be in the future. I do want to get back into my Davinci Art account too, because I do have that and that kind of stuff. I'll probably do that stuff there. Um, it it'll be like any kind of art, you know. I can draw art for people and all that, but. Right now, I don't I don't know how to use it, and I haven't had time to like play around with it. So, yeah, as for right now, it's just I cannot use it. So, so uh, yeah. But um, anywho, now that we got the introduction out of the way, let's talk about the crudes. So the, the crudes. Have you ever wanted, wanted to know what it was like to be a cave a caveman or a cave gal? Well, that is where we have the crudes. The crudes is what we have here, and uh, I gotta say, um, I gotta say, it's a it's really weird that we have an, another random uh, we have another random uh, you know caveman family and all that. In like Stone Age times, um, well, well, like you know, dinosaur-ish times, you know, because I I believe um, if I'm not mistaken, the oldest kind of human cave um men people they found were like back when the Ice Age stuff kind of started. I don't know. I mean, I mean, I don't. Know. I guess technically, uh, cave, you know, well, cave people and all that could have been around because. You know, before all that, but, but it got, the climate got cold and all that for for thousands of years. So they were kind of more around um, the ice age stuff. Heck, you can find that kind of stuff, like them frozen in like ice. You can find them frozen in ice though, in like, it, like, like Arctic places and all that. They found a, a lot of things that are like that. So I mean, I mean. I, don't, I guess it's possible there could have been some before that, but I just find it funny that like the Flintstones and all that have done that too. Um, but I guess in, I guess in this movie, tech technically, um, this movie I guess technically they kind of you know they don't really have like, dinosaurs. They kind of have normal creatures like we have in the real world. Um, well, I don't know if I would say they're normal. Like they are like they're 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 not like they're not real creatures like they're not they're like they're like um what we have now like but they're like you know their own thing you know so so like, there's like a saber tooth cat and all that but but actually it doesn't look like like a saber tooth cat because I think they found something in, in frozen and ice too it's more so you know it's more so like fictional animals I mean I think the Flintstones had that too but Flintstones also had actual like dinosaurs um these creatures are like just random and weird and all that. Like they don't even belong at like like on a planet called Earth, like we are on. You know, like they feel like they're you know not even 
real, you know, creatures, you know? But, but I don't I mean, there is a saber tooth cat on there, but, but again, like a lot of that stuff is definitely not something I, I would normally find, you know, it, you would find in the actual real world, you know, where like the Flintstones, you know, for example, they have like dinosaurs and all that, and that's stuff you would find there, you know, like, because there's other animals too, like there's some that like, like there's some that basically, um, like there's like these plant cr things that will like, they'll like eat you and all that, and there's like these random like flying creatures that will like eat like the meat and all that, so, um, yeah, I don't know, it's just kind of strange and all that, but, like, again, it's stuff we will not find in, in real life, you know, thank God, because I don't want there to be, like, random flying critters and all that, that you have to, like, have fire to keep them away, you know. But, um, but speaking of fire, though, I figured it's time I talk about the story of, of you know, the, the uh, movie, you know. I'm gonna say, this movie, though, I don't know, it's... It's kind of a, a, a straightforward movie and all that. You know, it's got some comedy and all that, but basically Gru, I mean, not Gru, I mean, not Gru, I mean, Grug, sorry, not, not, um, Grug, um, but Grug is actually, um, he's actually, you know, trying to keep his family safe because apparently everybody else died. Which honestly is freaking screwed up, you know, if you think about it for a, a kid's movie. But that's pretty much what happens. Everybody dies. They get frozen, die, or they get stumped by poison, you know. So the crudes, you know, stick stick it together as a family. Which, I mean, the, technically the, the other characters, you know, did that too. But they weren't, like, in a cave constantly. So, so um... Yeah, the fact is that they're the only ones that's just crazy, you know? They're trying to survive. But in reality, though, if they be, like, once they're gone, then everyone else is gone, too. So they really don't have an, another plan, like, to repopulate anything, you know? So it's kind of like Ice Age 2, in a way, with the whole last mammoth thing and all that. But, um, well, they don't have the whole reproducing thing in here, but they do... There is like they're the last, you know, cave people. Um, they're not even humans. They're cave people to be around. So, yeah. And then you got the typical story where um, apparently, you know, Eve goes out. Like she goes out because um, she sees like fire and all that. Like she saw a light before she went to bed, and then she goes out and finds this guy. For some reason, he's wearing a a hog like head or something, I'm not exactly sure why, but I guess it's supposed to, to, to per maybe protect him from predators, but we don't really see, we don't really see him w wear that again, so I don't know why he's wearing that, that just seems so random. I mean, I'm guessing maybe he must have, like, freaking, like, like got, got the head of, you know, um, some animal and all that, but I don't, I don't know, I don't, I don't know how I feel about wearing you know, wearing like a, a, a remains of a of a a dead animal on my head. You know, that just sounds freaking just totally gross and disturbing. But um, that's just me. But um, that's pretty much kind of you know that. And then you know, of course, you know, Eve falls in love with him and all that. And apparently, she doesn't know what fire is and all that. Which fire? I mean, fire I can understand. You know, because you know. Cave on people, like, well, people in general didn't know how to make fire back then, you know, probably, you know, so. So they don't know how to make that, you know, so, um. But then what doesn't make any sense is that she doesn't know what light is, and either does a family with the rain. I mean, Eve says they don't go out much, but. But still, if they're going out hunting for food and all that, I figured they would at least know. They would at least know, you know, what, um, you know, what, what, you know, rain and light is at least, because it just naturally happens. Fire, you have to make, you, know, you have to actually make fire, you know? You know, where, where other stuff, you don't have to do that, you know? So, well, I mean, fire can sometimes be made on its own, too, because, because there are, you know, there, there are those, you know, rural, I mean, there was, um, wood fire things and all that, you know? That's probably what happened. Probably it got discovered by accident and all that, you know. And 
but um, I but I, I don't think but I don't think you know like like I mean they probably don't there would be like wildfires and all where they're at because they're kind of in a rocky area so but um but I, I will I will say though um I I, I definitely kind of you know I definitely kind of think that doesn't make much sense but um but yeah, basically though, the whole thing is though, is, um, you know, Gru, I mean, well, Grug, I keep calling him Gru, he's not from Despicable Me, um, Grug, um, Grug actually, you know, is, um, and his family are, are afraid to try new things until they meet Guy, and Guy teaches him how to do new, of course, Grug doesn't like him at first, a typical father and daughter, you know, like, like I said, this is a, the typical movie where the the, the uh, father, you know, or the you know, even the mother, mother sometimes are like that too, like um, or is just overprotected of of you know the kid. And I don't know, I, I feel like they they I feel like they kind of make him kind of um they kind of make him a little bit too unlikable at times. I feel like like I don't I mean he is a K man too, so it's it kind of makes sense for him to act crazy, but I don't I feel like they kind of make him a little too, of a, of a, of a, you know, an ass sometimes to, you know, to, you know, his daughter and guy and all that, but, like, I, I just feel like it's kind of, they kind of have to have that, and, I mean, he does save him at the end, because the whole, the whole thing in the movie is it's also the end of the world. That's another thing, too, you know, like, a typical cave will not protect you from the end of the world, you know? You know, and all that. So, um, I guess their goal is to ride the sun t till tomorrow, which, which I don't really, I don't really understand. Like, I mean, they say fire is not good to touch. Well, they, they the, if you go to the sun, you're going to be a, a pretty smoked crisp, you know, if you go to the sun. You know, and all that, because, you know, the, the freaking sun's, like, really hot and all that. Yeah, you'd be freaking dead, you know, in minutes. Or actually, seconds, technically. Oh, yeah, they wouldn't have to even touch the sun. You'd be freaking on fire and dead, you know, you'd be smoked. That's how hot the sun is. But, um, I mean, I guess that's what they do. They, they ride, they're riding the sun to the morrow and all that, um, but... But yeah, the, the, the story, though, yeah, it's it's not very, like, it's not super interesting. I mean, it's not awful. Like, I do, I do, like, guys, like, ideas and all, and I do like, um, I do like him as a character. I think he balances out the movie a bit, but at the same time, I do think it's, it's very straightforward and kind of be a little bit, eh, you know. I will say though, I do like the, the designs of the animals, even though they're very random and don't belong into, like I said, they don't feel like they're actual animals from Earth. They feel like they're from a, a dead another planet, and then all that. So it just kind of feels random to have these animals here. I mean, it is prehistoric times, but I mean, I, I'm I'm fine with that though, you know, because I mean, they were trying to like probably they wanted to like make something fresh, you know, they wanted to give you different animals, you know, to make it fresh, you know, and stand out compared to, like, other, like, movies like Ice Age or something, you know. I mean, Ice Age, so, well, the first movie, at least, takes place, in, you know, in the ice world and all that, but the others doesn't. And, all that. and unfortunately, I showed off this, too, so I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a score, you know, I was about to anyway, um, but this was definitely getting a meh for me. Definitely a meh. I I I hate that I do that though. Um, yeah, I, I definitely need to get get myself. I need to get myself. Um, you know, a a phone case too. I need to get myself a phone case. Um, I'm probably gonna be ordering one for this phone here soon. I just don't have one with me, you know, right now. Um, but yeah, that, that that's making it easier for me to you know do that. You know, so um. Yeah, but, but like, like I said, though, I, like, I was talking before that happened, I was talking about how the movie, you know, itself has, um, you know, good-looking animals, I do think they're good, and I will admit it's very pretty, but, like I said, the story's not the best, the story's just that, it's whatever, like, I don't think it's an awful movie, I don't think it's bad, I can't remember either if I've watched this movie in the theaters before or not, I don't remember, 
Um, I watched the second one in the theaters, but the second, but the second one has not, you know, well, I, I'm not, it's going to be a long time before I get to that one, because I've had several more I have to do before I get to that one. You know, unlike so many pictures, I'm actually not almost done with this. I am going to say, though, with, with so many pictures, I do want to point out, though, that um, I don't I don't think I'm going to be able to actually watch the, the other movie right now. I'll have to wait. There, there's a... Like, I was trying to finish it up, and unless I can actually buy it, but I am kind of don't have a lot of money right now, and I'm trying to use it on other stuff. Like, like I said, I have to get a new phone case, and I get, like, 40 bucks, which may seem like a lot, but getting a new phone case, I have to, like, order it, and it's going to be, like, 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 probably around 12 bucks or something for that, you know? So, and not to mention that, um, like, I mean, I would get the movie, like I said, I would love to get it. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it. I mean, technically, to be fair, I guess technically it would be... It probably would have been, like... Because I don't remember when I started doing these reviews, but... um, But that, that movie was technically... um, I don't know if it was out yet when I was starting this or not. I can't remember. I know the Garfield one wasn't, because I got to do the Garfield movie at some point, too, but... But I, I kind of wanted to kind of just review them all, because I'm already doing it, you know? I, I'm, But... I don't know. I'm not going to probably be able to do that. Um, I will probably do it with, with these movies, though, but... Because I'll, I'll have plenty of time to buy out the movies from for here because I still have a ton of them to go through. So I think I'll be okay here, but... But, yeah, that's pretty much, I think, about really all I have to say there. Um, I don't know if there's... Is there anything else um, that I want to say before? Because this, this, there's just not a lot to talk about with this movie. It, it's very, very, um, it's just, it's, it's not, I don't think it's, well, it can get kind of, it can kind of drag sometimes, but I don't, wouldn't say it's, it's flat out forgettable and boring, because it's not. It's, I, I just think it can kind of drag out with, like, grug hating guy. Like, I feel like that goes on way too long and all that, like, until the final part of the movie, like, I mean, it's kind of funny seeing him try out ideas, which is stuff we actually have now, like, like there's, um, like there's a part where, like, there's, like, you know, sun, sunglasses and all that, like, of course you can't see it through them, but, you know, it's pretty funny there and all that, and then you got, like, a, a photo thing with a rock, which, by the way, I wouldn't try that, because you would do more than it break, break every, you know, teeth in your, in your mouth, but you would also, like, probably give yourself a head concussion, or probably fight out be dead, you know, um, depending, depending on how hard you get hit with a rock. Because that stuff weighs a ton, you know, but but it's still kind of funny seeing him do that stuff. I, I, that's, that, that's a thing, there are memorable moments, there's just not a, a lot really for me to really talk about. And I'm afraid the, other, the next movie might be like that too, um, I don't know. Next, the next one I have not seen in a long time, but there's this movie called Turbo, which I'll be do- reviewing here pretty soon, because um, it's the next movie. That's one I have not seen in a while. Um, I can't remember when I last saw it. It might have been about, um, it wasn't 10 years ago. It was definitely I think, more than that, but I think I saw, uh, I think maybe, maybe 2015, 2016 might have been the last time I watched it. I don't know, it's been a long time since I've seen that movie. And I remember, I remember not really caring for it much, but I don't want to say anything until I actually watch it. I, I have heard other people say that, though, it's probably probably one of the like weakest, um, well, one of the most forgettable DreamWorks movies of all time. I, I know people. I know people say too. DreamWorks has kind of gotten very um, bad over time. You know, since Universal bought it. But I don't want to say any of their movies and all until I actually watch them. But I have seen some in the last few years, and they weren't too bad. But I mean, but again, I don't. I don't want to say. I don't want to go into too much detail with them until I actually watch them. You know, like so I can do my reviews. But um. But yeah, I don't. Know, but yeah, speaking of which, I will say. Like, I do want to say there's actually. Two things I want to say. Um, first, um, I want to say this movie kind of has a tone like Disney movies do, like um, like the 2010 Disney movies do. Like I don't know why. It just, but the characters kind of feel like they have the same tone as like 
I seen like frozen and all that. Like it feels like they kind of like I don't. They just kind of feel like like they're written by like it, it's kind of hard to describe. You know, like you know when you watch a movie and all that, you can kind of feel like it. It's written by the same person. Sometimes it's actually very hard to tell. Like if 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 it's written by the same person, but I don't know. This just feels like like a, like it came from a Disney, you know, company or the Disney company or something. But of course, I I know a lot of people have been leaving the Disney company too and going to other you know studios because of how bad they get treated. But um, but about that, yeah, I know a lot of them are also getting kind of ousted. It you know, DreamWorks too for AI, but. Unfortunately, that's kind of everywhere, so um, I hope it doesn't completely get rid of people, because I feel like people can, people, you know, can, you know, make really good stuff, and I don't really want to imagine a world where we have robots running everything, because I've seen the movies, not just Wally, but other stuff too, and it's horrifying to think about, but um, the last thing I want to say before I let things go is, um, this is a fun fact I wanted to point out. And I could have mentioned this in the last video. Because um, I actually did like watch this movie before. I think I did, didn't I? Um, no, actually, I um, I actually didn't, didn't watch. I don't know if I watched The Croods yet or not. But I, I, and um, the, you know, the, the Rise of the Guardians. That was the last movie to be where, where you know, um, DreamWorks was paired up with, um, with Paramount. Now they are they're partnered up with um 20th Century Fox, which that won't last very long. Um, not 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 because um not because you know Disney bought it out um but you know be, because um Universal bought it bought them out. But we'll get to that down the road too. Um, I don't know. If they've been teamed up with other. I mean, they've teamed up with a lot of people over the years. You know, they have um. So I don't know if they've been with um others too, but. But I do know they were with Paramount for a long time. They, they, like, I mean, they made movies. I think with other companies, because I think they made that live-action Cat in the Hat movie with um Universal. So um, they made that, which I'm not. Re I wasn't gonna review that. I think I mentioned that. I wouldn't have reviewed that because technically that's um that's gonna be a movie I'll review down the road because it's a live-action movie. I mean, it is based off of um you know a. A cartoon, you know, but I feel like it'd be better just to make it its own thing. Um, I probably won't be doing it like this. I think after the because after the Disney ones, I think I'm probably gonna just just stop doing it like this, just because um it it, it was fun when it at first because you know um but I was always kind of planning on stopping, but but I, I but I wanted to kind of you know keep going and all that you know cuz I feel like it's easier to do this than having to like pick random movies and all that and they're well known companies you know you know and all that but then I have to have a schedule to keep and all that and that's 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 the problem and that's kind of what I'm dealing with with so many pictures and animation movies you know I can't freaking do do with that you know but speaking of which I do need to still also buy on the more of the Disney movies too cuz I have the older ones um Actually, don't have the new, new ones. I need to buy those too. But um, but um, you know, but I don't have actually the new one. I've heard a lot of them aren't very good, but I still want to buy them so I can you know watch them. But but um, I don't know. But but yeah, I, I'm really curious though. Like with with um, DreamWorks, if they've been paired up with like Warner Brothers or something in the past or Sony. I don't know if they have or not, but it's really interesting to think about. I do know they're they're like they're kind of like paired up with Netflix though. A lot of their car cartoon stuffs on there, but we don't have Netflix anymore. Um, I kind of wish that was the streaming service we kept because everyone's kind of putting their content on there anyway. Like, like, like um, you know, um, Ben Ten and all that are shows that I watch. On um, they're no longer on HBO Max. I have to go to Netflix or other studios to watch them now, but. I don't know, but I'm gonna probably go ahead and just let let things go from here. Though I'm kind of been rambling on, but I just kind of wanted to kind of share, like kind of like what's going on in case you know, you know, you guys are wondering, you know. But but um, yeah, but I I, I do plan on probably stopping after the Disney ones, and then with um Sony, I I don't know if I'll be able to keep going. I mean, I could review the movie, you know, like once I get it on DVD and review it way down the road, but. 
I might just stop after that and just review them. Uh, the, just re review the Dream Oryx movies individually and then, you know, kind of just go from there because um, it might be a while before I buy it, you know. I mean, Christmas is coming up and I'm getting, you know, money. I'll probably get money because I get a lot of money for Christmas. But... But I, I, I'd rather kind of just not have to hold that off too, too long, you know. But, anywho, um, my phone's getting ready to ring. So, um, it's funny, like, right before my video ended up leaving. But, but yeah, I'm going to have to answer that. So, but, anywho, though, um, thank you guys for the video and all that. And sorry about the interruption at the end there, but my phone rang. So, um, and I don't want to turn it off on silent because I was trying to figure out what I'm doing tomorrow with Delaney and all that, so I I wanted to see if my mom my mom was gonna call back, but she hasn't yet, so that might have been her. I don't know. But anywho, I'm gonna go ahead and get going now. See you all later. Bye bye.